So you want to learn how to take a specific color and insert it into your mid-journey prompts? Well, let me show you how to do it. It's super easy, barely an inconvenience. First, let me show you how you would do this on the mid-journey website, and then we'll look at Discord after. You're going to need to find an example of the color you want. I recommend just looking for it on Google. When you find the color you want, you can right click on it. We'll go down to copy image. Now on the mid-journey website at the prompt box on top, you just have to paste it. Control V or Command V and boom, we see our color right here. But there's one thing you need to look out for. When you first paste it in, it's going to show up as an image prompt. That is not what we want. We want to choose this little icon over on the left side. We're going to use the color as a character reference. That's the trick. Now that it's selected as a character reference, we can type our prompt, we can type anything we want. Let's try something like a futuristic Rococo dress. What's really cool is that you don't even need to specify the color in the prompt. You can for a little bit of extra emphasis and guidance. I'll show you the differences. You can check your settings by clicking on this button over here. Here's where you can change the aspect ratio. I'll slide it over to a portrait view. And then from here I can hit enter. Now here's a tip you need to know. If you hit the up arrow on your keyboard, the prompt box will fill with your last prompt. This is such an easy way to make quick adjustments. So let's specify a green futuristic Rococo dress. And then we need to make sure we add our color reference again. So we can click this plus button by the prompt box. And then here you'll see every image link you've ever used. You can create a gallery of color references. We'll click on our green. Make sure that it's set as a color reference and hit enter. And then look at these. On the bottom is just a futuristic Rococo dress and up top is where we specify a green dress. Do you notice how it doesn't really matter if we say the color or not? I think this is absolutely amazing, but there is another trick that I should warn you about. What you might want to do is lower the character weight. So if we hit up on the keyboard, it will load our last prompt. I'll make sure the green is selected. And then you want to type the parameter dash dash CW. That stands for character weight and the default value is 100, which means our character reference link, our color green is going to have the most influence possible over our generation. We actually want to lower that influence just a little bit. You could drop it down to 60. I'll also show you 40, 20 and zero. Just a reminder that these images were made at a character weight of 100, the default. And then here we have a character weight of 60 on the bottom and 40 up top. The color is still going to translate through the generation, but the rest of the words in the prompt have a little more room to breathe. And that's why we get these more elaborate designs. Pushing that concept even further, we have character weight of 20 on the bottom, and a character weight of zero up top. Even when the character weight is zero, the least amount of influence a character link can have, the green still translates, roughly speaking. I think it works over here in number four, maybe not so much in number one, to say the least. Maybe you want to see Batman in a canary yellow suit, or maybe you want to see Batman in a pineapple yellow suit. I know those shades of yellow are super similar, but can't you tell the difference? Isn't that amazing? Or check out this prompt, a close-up macro portrait of a woman with magical blue eyes. And I character reference the color of turquoise. Isn't that wild? Maybe you'd prefer sky blue instead. Here's another example of canary yellow versus pineapple yellow. Here you'll see a reference to scarlet red. And then look at this, we can leave the word red in the prompt, but change the reference link to pink and Midjourney knows what to do. Incredible. Super easy to do. Here's some more examples of Batman in his yellow suit. Canary versus pineapple. I recently updated my mid-journey beginner course with a 30 minute lesson on character reference and all of the ways you can manipulate it. Check it out in the description below. Now let me quickly show you how to take advantage of this on Discord. Let's find the color we want on Google. Let's look for a lavender purple. That looks nice. We'll right click, hit copy image. In Discord at the bottom in the prompt box, we'll paste our lavender color. Make sure you hit enter to send it in the chat. Then the trick here is to save it as a shortcut. To do that, you're gonna type prefer option set into the prompt box. We want to click plus one more beside option. That will bring up value, click on that. Now we have two spots to insert information. In value is where we're going to click and drag that color. Click on it, drag it into the value box. In option is where you get to choose the name of your shortcut. I'm just gonna go with LAV Lav. Now I can prompt for a purple Batmobile driving down the streets of Hawaii graphic novel aesthetic. 
I'll then need to type dash dash CREF character reference space and then my shortcut dash dash LAV. I also want to lower the character weight just a little dash dash CW space 50 and when I hit enter my shortcut will expand into the larger prompt character referencing that specific lavender color. Let's see how this turns out. Oh wow these are awesome. I think number four down here might be the best representation of that color. It's going to get you like 95% of the way there. Don't stress if every image in your grid isn't perfect. And then what's really cool is that back on the Mid Journey website, again, if you click on this plus button beside the prompt box, the website will be updated with what you did on Discord and your lavender color will appear right here. So that's how you're going to generate with a specific color. Don't forget about my Mid Journey beginner course. And if you want some more tips on character reference, you can check out this video right here. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.